What's the crack lads? V3.3 is coming in two days time this Thursday and I'm gonna show you what I want both on and off the pitch in the newest update. So we have a date but we don't have any details other than that. We've no gameplay or patch notes. That will come on the morning of the release which is Thursday the 25th, right? But I'm gonna talk about what I think will come and what I would like to see come. Don't confuse this either lads with the season update which you know will be the nominating contracts we also have packs that are expiring and this is tied also to the match pass and the resetting of the eFootball league phase. Now I also want you guys to let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on the legend ecosystem at the moment. I personally feel that the legends that they're releasing at the moment are very kind of like nostalgic driven obviously rather than game performance in additions to your squad uh you know when you've got a squad like me it's all about fun my content and my experience with the game is based around fun yes i like the players i obviously like to spin for players that's a, everyone's own personal choice but louis bin bin and collar in my squad you know their mainstays to have a bit of crack with them right so i do feel like that they just need to bring in a bit of fun the fun factor in for people that are playing the game casually but also for people that want to really grind you know a 72 rated goalkeeper when you could potentially get torres i feel that they just need to kind of be a little bit more kind of listen this is what we're giving you it's a free spin and you get one of these 20 players or one of these 18 players you know we don't need to put in a box of 150 because it's a free spin or else just don't give it at all and just make us earn it in some way i do feel that they need just just to overhaul that kind of reward system rather than just logging in I feel that they've done that with the minigame with the penalty to get Neymar and Maradona and Costa Corta, which is good. I also will give them credit as well, lads. A lot of people were crying out for co-op rewards. You now have 100 coins in co-op, and I think that they'll keep this up for the foreseeable future. I also would like to see them incorporate this into eFootball League, because as fun as co-op is, divisions at the moment, lads, are eFootball League... I'm just at a really sore point with it. Firstly, the rewards are not worth grinding, in my personal opinion. I mean, you're getting GP, which is completely trivial. You're getting uh, trainer programs for the f wherever you finish that are kind of trivial as well. And the phase rewards leave a lot to be desired. Also, Les, the biggest problem I have with divisions at the moment is not everybody has buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets of time to be able to sit there and play 10 games a day for a week or for a month. I think they need to bring in some sort of like one-off cups every night at like 7 or 8. They could do it like the old system where you could have cups going on that you can qualify for that's pure knockout from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the evening across different regions. And you could have multiple regions, you could have multiple cups, and then they could go into like some sort of championship where you get really, really good rewards. I'm talking and epic players instead of giving us a free Neymar for taking a penalty and pressing one button give us something to actually grind for so we've covered off the pitch eFootball League divisions co-op you know credit where it's due they have obviously brought in coins as a reward they've started to give us some really beastly in-game players such as Neymar Maradona Costa Corta with the minigame and free logins and some people have got Van Basten Torres Costa Corta and Neymar to build their team around Song Krasen very very good free players to build your squad around that even if you're a newcomer, if you've been playing the game for a while, it doesn't really make a difference. Let's see what I want on the pitch and discuss it in a little bit more detail with clips. On the pitch, I don't think I'm going to go into too much detail with on the pitch, boys. And the reason for that is because I feel that the biggest thing with on the pitch at the moment is going to come with the new update. The big, big update that will come, whether it comes in February, March or April. I think the next big update... You will see here the collision system. There's no real risk for fouling people or stopping them on the counter-attack. Yeah, you'll get a couple of yellow cards, but I mean, if somebody is good at fouling you and slowing down what you want to do on a dribble-centric type of gameplay, they'll be able to get six or seven yellow cards without any real detriment. Now, I know that this is more a sporting problem, like a football and sporting problem. I mean, try and tell Mourinho not to get every player booked if he wants to get every player booked to slow the game down in real life. Obviously, they want to replicate that, that you're able to play a little bit more dirty or physical, but I just feel that it doesn't add to the experience of a free-flowing game. A lot of the time, there's a lot of blocks, there's a lot of interceptions, there's a lot of rebounds, and there's a lot of stuff that is just kind of a little bit chaotic, that it's very hard to control every aspect of the game. Now, don't get me wrong. I've streamed the game a lot. I've played the game a lot. Nobody is forcing me to play this game. I am genuinely playing this game because I really enjoy it. The same way as I'll play Warzone, the same way as I'll play Elden Ring. Even if it's difficult, even if it's challenging, even if I have things that I would personally like to fix myself. If somebody, you know, said, I, I did a poll the other day on the stream, 
where somebody, you know, asked me, what would I change? And I put up a poll with four options and the poll was literally split, you know, 20%, 25% each on everything. We all have different opinions of what we want. But I do feel that like, while the game can be very, very fun, I do feel that the interceptions at the moment are on a different level, man. And a lot of the stuff that's happening is determined by interceptions, that little breakage of attack to defense, and the collision system as you see here. People jostling into each other, people running in straight lines like, you know, bulldozers and bulldozing into players. I just feel they need to fine tune that. Now, as I keep saying, I still enjoy this game. For all its flaws, I'm still brought back to this game. I still look forward to, you know, booting it up on a Monday after a Saturday and Sunday off where I'm not really doing anything except editing videos or chilling out, watching Netflix. I'm kind of like, yeah, I can't wait to test out this player. I can't wait to test out that player or I can't wait to work on my double touch. But this sort of stuff kind of is frustrating where you don't really feel like you've control over a lot of the animations, whether they decide to kick in or not. So I think that's going to be a long term kind of thing of mine that I would like. Now, this is what I keep going back to. This is what makes me continue going, coming back to this game, lads, is that when the game flows, there's no other game on, on <laughs> out there at the moment that gives me more fun and more joy. I mean, of, I know it's not against any, people, any skilled player, you know, but having Rodrigo's a really good fire, defensive man. display against a top class that was opponent, absolute beating the top 50 guy as we did on stream the other day by just pure doggedness and uh, well, that's you know, he gets a bit for of determination. But listen, man, he's or just simply just a newcomer with somebody that, that you know, is, is you know just how you get that name? You know, I actually looked it up. Their way that's the, the game, game that you or, get by you know, being able to kind of do different things. And I do feel that this game definitely has potential to go forward, that they need to fine tune going forward. But I want to hear from you guys, lads. Honestly, I want to hear from you guys what you want within this game. Because I do feel there's so much to like about this game if they tune it. I think that's the thing. It's like a, they need to tune it a little bit and they need to tune into the community and what the community want. Cards are fun. There's a lot of hype for cards all the time, whether it's mobile player or a console player or a PC player, whatever you're playing it on, cards are always fun. Who doesn't want to play with Beckham? Who doesn't want to play with, you know, Cruyff? Who doesn't want to play with Maradona, Cristiano? Any of those guys, Messi. Um, there's lots to like about this game, honestly. There is lots to like about this game, but I just feel it's all about tuning it up, tuning it up to where the game can like flow and be in a flow state more often than not because you know as i keep saying when the game flows you can have some brilliant plays brilliant passages to play and the game really really flows win lose or draw so let me know what you guys think it's just a short video on v3.3 it is coming this thursday don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing big things coming in the future until next time lads i will talk to you in a bit peace